Well, we're back in the kitchen now, and John, we've been saying it all morning, but this pudding, 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 pudding sounds delicious. Pudding, pudding, pudding. Yeah, I brought out the Christmas mixer, mm -hmm. and we're going to make meringue, we're going to make mousse, we're going to do cherries, and we're going to put the whole lot together and make a really lovely dessert, a centrepiece. Can I oh. just say, lovely bit of glitter going on there. I th yes, oh, I did yeah, it because, well you know what, I, I felt out of it, so I thought, there you go. Like a little there bit you glitter. go, a little there bit of glitter. There you are. A little bit of glitter. Thank you very much. Right, <laughs> then, so here we go. So you know what? This, is a, this a, week, we've eaten so much incredible food that purely on the telly alone, because I, I have two slices of toast in the morning, I'm so full by the time I finish the show, I don't eat in the evening, I put two pounds on just by what we've eaten on the show. Two whole pounds? Don't even think about it. It's, it's not wow. even Christmas. Well, you're going to put on another two yes, right now. Good luck. Um, enjoy good luck. it. So the deal is meringue, and everybody sort of gets a bit worried about making meringues, but actually there's a very, very simple trick to it. This has got four egg whites in it. The recipe, of course, is for the app. Four egg whites, and you add to that a tablespoon of lemon juice. Oh. So one tablespoon of lemon juice goes with the egg whites, and you whip them up until they're stiff, and then you add the sugar. Don't add the sugar at the start. Oh. If you add the sugar at the start, the whole thing will go wrong. It will never become lovely and stiff. Oh, okay. So, in here I've got uh, four egg whites, oh my 200 grams of sugar in total, and this is just going to put the last bit of sugar in, so you add a spoonful of sugar at a time, and you whip it properly. Give it a really good beating. I've got a and do you know when it's done when you hold it above your head and it doesn't go on your head? You could do that if you wanted to. Could you to. prove that to us, just to make sure that it's really... I'll tell you really, what, just for really you, works. Holly... I always think that's the way you just really you. know at home. You what, above Holly's head. <laughs> here you go, look. If I Social do this, right, I'm exactly. shame I can't come over you. there, because I could do it to you, you see. And if I just do that and hold across <laughs> there, like, a little Christmas bauble... Oh, I really wanted you, to You really want it to happen, don't you? It's not going to happen, because it is actually really, really firm. And so if you even try to shake it off, it's hard to shake it off. I've lined a tray with paper because this is the, the actual meringue itself. Make a sort of like a Swiss roll tin is probably the best way to explain it. Mm -hmm. And you just take the meringue and you drop it on. I mean, it's properly, look. Oh. There you go. Properly stiff. And um, then just put it on this tray and flatten it all out. And it doesn't take very long to cook at all. It takes only 15 minutes. And if you're going to roll it, you don't want it to be hard, do you? Well, you'd want it to be sort of slightly crispy. And if you're going to roll it anyway, it doesn't really matter if it cracks. Uh-huh. The thing is that it's sort of... It's a log, isn't it? I mean, you know, it's, it, it can, so it can be thin or, or thick, but I like it to be sort of a nice marshmallow um, texture. That's why the lemon juice and the sugar. And then just take that, and that goes into the oven, once it's all onto the tray nicely into the oven, but make sure you grease it well, otherwise it'll stick to the paper. Grease the paper? Grease the paper. Mm. 15 minutes at 160. OK. Mm -hmm. That's it, 160 fan, 180 normal. But, say, recipe's on the line. In a pot here, I've got some cherries. You take a, a jar or a tin of cherries, which are in syrup, mm -hmm. and get yourself some cordial. Just berry cordial, you know, sort of just raspberry or, or black currant or whatever, and you put the two together and bring them to the boil and the cordial and the cherry syrup come together and make your cherries go lovely and sticky. Mm. So that's just a really simple way. And then you've got those cherries and they could be in your fridge and they could be used for anything. So you've got this sort of lovely, glassy, glossy... I don't know what glassy is. A glossy cherries that, that sort of go in the mix. Lovely. Chocolate mousse. There's chocolate mousse, then there's Bailey's mousse. But chocolate mousse simply starts off with chocolate and a bit of butter, which we've melted, and I've separated two eggs. Melted it like, like bain-marie style? That's it, over a, a pot of hot water. Yeah. That's it, so you just do it really gently. Try not to boil the water, otherwise the chocolate will, will, um, will go hard and break apart. Use good quality chocolate. Yeah. Really dark, rich chocolate, because you're going to put sugar in it. Um, two egg yolks get whipped into the chocolate and the butter. And you just mix that together, and that makes it all sort of light. But because it's hot in there, or the chocolate's warm, it actually starts to cook the egg yolks. So that's mm. done and ready to go. Egg white, which we've just whipped up. Again, a little bit of lemon juice and some sugar, so it's all whipped together. And some double cream, which is whipped. So the oh, double cream, I'm going to whip that properly, so it comes back together again. It's been sitting on my bench. Don't whip it too much, and don't put your, your booze in your cream before you start to whip it. Put the booze in once you've whipped it. Otherwise, again, it won't go. It takes ages to whip together. Okay. It's really not that Oh, complicated. that's the Baileys. Then you add the Baileys. Um, 200 of double cream, 200 of Baileys. Equal quantities. OK. Very good oh, for the adults. I know if you want to do it for children, you can always use caramel or something like that if you wanted to. That's not a problem. And then really make sure that's whipped together. Now we take half of that mixture and we add half of that to the egg white. Mm. The, all the chocolate goes in here. It's... And then you have to do some folding. Then you've got to... Well, actually, to be fair, you've got to do a bit of whipping. Oh. Because, because the chocolate... 
Oh, and everything. Knock the air out of the meringue you put in there. Well, it does a little bit, but you've got quite a lot of air in it anyway, so that's that's not a problem. And you because the problem is the chocolate sets very quickly. So if you start to fold too much, you end up with lumps. Uh, so you really got to give it a good. And that's because you're whisking. You're putting more air in it. Just as much air back in, and then you add to that the rest of that cream. And then we've got oh ourselves my God. our mousse. I bet that's just nice on its own, like a yogurt. <laughs> You see, the Can thing is, in the old face, days, where is it? you do. Before, yeah. other side, before we other side, were other um, side. still there on your chin, oh, under oh. here, underneath doesn't your matter. chin, down there. Go on, anyway, it's fine. Oh, it doesn't matter. Who cares? Yeah. Yeah. It was. And take your meringue. And now the meringue's now turned out. I took it out of the fridge and turned it over. Yes, Philip, you're asking me. I was going to say, in the old days, we'd have been close and we'd have been able to stick our fingers in that bowl. No, but well, you can't do that now. No, I know. No, so set me. chocolate mousse in a bag to make it easy. Pipe it across the top of my my meringue mixture. And then into so here, I'm going to put my cherries. Right. And then cherries go across the top. Lots of them. And then into there, we're going to roll the whole thing up. So you just oh take the, the thing, roll it across the top. As I say, it doesn't matter if it splits. Just keep on rolling, 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 rolling. Like that. There's your little round. Take a knife. Cut in half, and you got yourself. And it chocolate. is absolutely it's delicious. Amazing, John. Thank it's you. Beautiful. We're going to put all Stunning. the recipe details on this morning at Merry Christmas to you. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Yummy.